Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Look at that mail again. What craziness is this? <laughs> Joanne the Mermaid. Should be saucy. <laughs> Dear Link, thanks for delivering that letter to me. It was so nice to hear from my sister. I haven't run into Jolene yet, but that's okay. It's just good to know that we've always got that sister connection. We're running to each other eventually. It's inevitable considering our taste and hobbies is the same. We're both just obsessed with dressing up in costumes. <laughs> My sister just prefers her silk pirate clothes to her mermaid costume. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept a bit that bit of info in my diary. Take this gift. It's just a little something to show my appreciation. Your favorite pretend mermaid, Joanne. It's a ship part of randomness. Woohoo! And that's it all. Now, I'm going to be going over to Fire Island, or wait, I mean the Isle of Ember, excuse me, you know, the whole fireplace of place, because doing so and doing some clearing out over there will allow us to unlock some stuff on this island and another island at a different place, and yeah, so let's do that. And here we are, Isle of Ember, now... Now, now! Oh, this is the wrong house. I want to first go over to Astrid's place, which is up here, if I recall. Yes, okay, it's always got those sparkly symbols on that. Now, if you talk to her after you do the Isle of Gust, um, well, let's just say yes. Well, then I'll see you. We must go next. Probably, she's going to say the Temple of the Ocean King, probably. <laughs> I see it now. Your future! Uh-huh, uh-huh. You risk the spirit of wisdom. Please take this link. Oh, well, yeah, that's after you beat the wind temple. But yes, that's that's not what I was expecting. You can increase the power of the spirits of those aiding in your journey. In order to restore Tetra, you must destroy the very source of the darkness. Return to the temple of the Ocean King on Mercury and find another T she chart. Sea chart. See, that's what I was expecting her to say. I thought she would give me the gem after. But whatever, I got it now. So yes. <laughs> So I got myself a gem for that, and now I'm gonna go into her basement, because you might recall a couple of stuff under here. Look at that. First the red rupee, but more importantly, a treasure map. Yes, a treasure map. Wow, oh, it was just up there. <laughs> You just never know where those X's are going to appear, and you have to go back to other locations you've already been to, and yeah. But we're not done here just yet. There's other stuff and stuff to actually do here. Uh, for one thing, we're going to get ourselves a little hinty hint as to where to go on for another treasure chart on this island. So let's go over on this side and talk to her lovely assistant. That's now passed but doesn't seem to mind passing all that much, and see what he has to say. Do I have- oh, there we go. So thank you for rescuing Astrid. Let me share some valuable information. A map is buried here. May it be of help to you. So, let's do a little marky mark. There we go. Uh-huh. Please continue to watch over Astrid. I shall. And is there anything else? No, I just wanted to see for kicks there. Now, there's also... I don't know if... Maybe it's not something that I can get on this side, but... Get out of here. <laughs> but if you have the grappling hook, I believe there's something over here. Um, let's see... Uh, yes, there it is. Would you look at that? It's a courage gem! Heck yeah! And, bye bye Can I, like, get over... Yes, I can. <laughs> that would speed things along a little bit. Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe I should have went back the other way, because, well... Hmm... Hmm... Actually, what, wait, wasn't there something on this side? I forgot. Uh... Was it under the rock? Because I could have swore there was something that I could dig up around here. Maybe it was in front of a tree? I forgot. I don't know. I may, I'll, maybe I'll just end up going to the other digging spot that I know something is there. <laughs> no, 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 don't dig on the tree. The trees are undiggable. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go back up and around to that spot because I believe that is the digging spot that I probably was thinking of, but I'm not really positive because I thought there was something over at that corner, but yeah, no, sorry, no. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I just know I gotta take my shovel and go flow, flop over to that spot. And thank you, Shield, for shielding me. 
that helps me for those cheap attacks. I just can't react in time. Oh, like that. All right, so what am I looking for here? Maybe it's where, yep, it's where the piece of grass is. It's another treasure map. There we go. It's all the way over there. And we can get to that spot from... Ah! From the other side, like, it, it, I never really specified this before, but the C-chart, like, uh, up over here, uh, there's this section over in here, which is mainly boxed in with the minigame, but you can actually reach this side of that map by going to this portion of the map here and then going that way. But we obviously don't have that C-chart yet, so we can't get that until later. So keep that in mind for the future. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead over to Mercury Island once again, because there's some stuff that I forgot, as well as some stuff that I can get now that I got the treasure charts here. Uh, see, there's one treasure chart, I don't remember which one it is, that unlocks something that Friedel will give you. And then there's another treasure chart, you know, those two that we got there, that will unlock something at an island that, that it's currently uncharted over, um, I'm gonna go, well, I'm gonna sail up there, of course, but, but it's, uh, over here on the sea chart, I kept this a secret for later, uh, there's something over here, and there's also a frog over here somewhere around this area. But the, I, I figured I didn't really need to get that frog until a little bit later. But anyway, I'm going to go back to Merke Island now, because I am ready. Here we are. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is going up to the cave. Remember that cave that I had to open with the laser sights? <laughs> that gave me a hint as to where the cave is. Yeah, I'm going in that cave, and I might as well... Well, actually, I think I can get it with the boomerang, but um, there's something in there that I can't believe I forgot, because it's, it's something across this bridge here. Remember that really long bridge? This one right here, well, about in the center of it. Let's see if I get this about right. Let's take a look. There it is. Yeah, you hit that switch, and a chest will appear right over there. Now, on opening up that chest will give us... Ah, oh, Courage Jam, and I cannot believe I forgot that. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. I mean, that that's an early game one that I could have gotten, but no, no, no. Forgot about it when I crossed the bridge. Thought there was nothing there at the time, but then I was like, uh oh, I remember something. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, going back through here will take us right over to Friedel, which is where I want to go next. Because he's got something for us now, due to one of those treasure charts that we got on uh, Isle of Ember. Little man, little green man, collected many treasures. By the way, while I was cleaning out my boxes, I found this. From the box to you, will your heart's dreams come true? It's a treasure map! I don't know why getting a treasure map unlocks something here and over here, but it does. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Now, uh, there's a little girl we gotta talk to over on this portion of the island. Where is she? Do you have any more info? You always seem to call me. Uh, uh, well, yeah, you talked about this before. Yes, yes, I should have said yes. Uh, little girl, little girl, where is she wandering around at? Not you, you're little, but you're not young girl. Um, hmm. Hmm, maybe she's on the other side of the island. Well, anyway, is there anything that I can buy here? Because things cycle around randomly in these shops. Like, oh, hello there, Regal Ring. Um, hello. Um, you know what? I might as well actually get these. Because I know it's, it's worth a lot now. So, I might as well get the prize of rupees by buying those. I'll, I'll be able to get at least a little bit of profit off that. So if I go back over here, and I'll be able to sell it immediately, and I bet that Zora scale is also worth the the exact same amount, of which we're going to be able to find out now. Oh, wait, wait, what am I going in here for? This is the shipyard. This is not the treasure trader place. I am a doofus. <laughs> this is the place that I'm looking for. There we go. It was on the right, right side. Yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Treasure... Regal Ring, he's gonna be all excited. Yes, yes, yes. Please give me 1,500 rupees. Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. No, but, but I don't have two of these. <laughs> okay, uh. 
So let's try this now. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? 1,500, right? No, it is 800, so I would have lost profit if I would have bought that at, at its price there. So yeah, that was a good idea that I didn't buy it. I just know that the, the price at the time for the Regal Ring, I mean, uh, uh, the price always at the time of a Regal Ring, I should say, is 1,500. So yeah, if you can get them for one, less than 1,500, you will be very happy camper. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's see here. I'm pretty sure the little girl is supposed to be outside somewhere. P possibly, maybe, I'm almost positive. <laughs> well, I'll find her. So you found the ghost ship. Well, how fair is your friend? Did you find her? Really? But you can still save her, I hope. Oh yeah. Surely if Al Allah she says it's possible, then fortune may smile on you, son. I just wanted to check what's in here. <laughs> I've been here far too long. I'll bet my wife is steaming mad right now. Now I really don't want to go home. By the way, um, I found out that it wasn't a letter that you get. Remember I said that you get a post-game letter from Offshoes if you don't get his uh, power gem here? Well, it's not actually from a letter. It's from in here. I just remembered what the comments said. And yeah. So yeah, you talk to one of those post-game and you'll get that... Uh, Power gem. But anyway, I'm still looking for that girl, not you. Hmm. I don't know where the heck she is. And oh, and I just noticed something else on her map. Cave here equals cave there. Yeah, I forgot to mark that down. Yeah, where is she anyway? <laughs> Were you, was it really you that I was looking for? How long did that old carp stay at the milk bar gulping the day away? I'll have a thing or two to tell him when he gets home. Nah, they're not the one I'm looking for, just as I thought. Where is she? I thought she appears somewhere around this game at this time and... Hmm... Hmm... Oh, what to do? How could I possibly tell my husband that our seeds seem to grow our weeds? <laughs> well, that's a... Uh, it's a bad gardening dilemma here. <laughs> Now that you cleared out the rocks, I can grow the garden of my dreams! My wife was going to town to fetch seeds for me. Oh, the possibilities! We're gonna cross this while tilling my field. Why don't you take it, buddy? It's a dark pearl loop. I forgot you give that to me. <laughs> Dang, maybe she's on another island, and I'm, I'm thinking of a different island. Well, anyway, I'm, I'll think about that later. I will go to sea and head over to the next location, because I know there's gonna be a lot of cuts so far. <laughs> So now where I want to go is right here, so I don't need to draw a course or anything like that. I just got to go to my slate and try and draw the really awkward symbol. That should do it. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go over to this island. Well, maybe I'll get those two treasures over there as well because I'm right here. <laughs> so why not? Let's try and not wreck our salvage arm. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, alright, so, oh no you don't. You are not going to cause me ire salvage. Let's see what we've got here. Alright. I was going to hold my salvage arm to move down for some reason. I don't know why. I know it's that the controls are down there. I was just being dumb. <laughs> alright. We can do this. We can do this. Without taking any damage. My cursor is off the recording area, but that is okay. You can tell where I am in its relative position. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure if that red rupee is worth it, but, uh, well. I guess I could try getting it. Nah, I'm kidding. My hitbox is probably a lot larger now. <laughs> And yeah, I'm not gonna really risk the salvage arm for 20 rupees considering that I can get a whole lot more from treasures anyway. So yeah, let's just go up there nice and safe like dodging our Octo Bomb friends, well Octo Mine friends, but you know they're bombs and we got it. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! What is our prize? What is our prize? What is our prize? It's a random ship part, okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna route myself over to here. Here we go. Make sure to always stop your X, I mean to stop your uh, route directly on the X so that you know that you're on the spot when uh, lineback is like, end of the line, navigator, and then you just do your salvaging thing. That way you don't have to guess as to the timing or anything like that. 
Just get it to the close of the center of the red X as possible, and you will be a happy camper. Oh no, pirate ship. I already got the treasure from you, I should say the gem from you, so I am done dealing with you guys. Yeah, pirate ships appear randomly after a certain point in the game. I think it's after the fourth time you have to enter the Temple of the Ocean King, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. But, uh, just something to avoid. Not Jolene, though. You wanna encounter her a bunch more times. But she's not really a pirate, as we found out. <laughs> Alright. So, careful, careful. Wiggly, 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 wiggly. Yeah. <laughs> and going up. No more Octomines, please. Whoa, 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 whoa! Jeez, that's why I don't like to try and go through those while I'm swinging. But I was too far into it to go back. Well, I'm not taking too much damage these runs anyway, so I'm I'm okay with that. So, oh, gee! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> but that's okay. We still got three health left, which is enough to gather some other treasures, methinks. <laughs> Alright. What do I get? What is my prize this time? It is... A random ship power, delightful. Oh, whoa, I was, <laughs> I was suck un sunk underwater. That never happened to me before. All right, I'm gonna get you out of you. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Oh, that's not a regular pirate ship. That's just a warship. So yeah, they won't, they won't invade me. It's the pirate ships you gotta look out for that'll invade you. All right. Now, uh oh, uh, I'm stuck on what? What the heck am I stuck on? <laughs> Dang, you invisible wall! <laughs> oh, some things are wider than they look. <laughs> Alright, Molita Island. Um, wait, were you the girl that I was thinking of? Word has it that the ghost ship has been seen for a while. I wonder if some far off you has defeated it. What must the hero is be? I guess I can only imagine what lazy bones you are compared to such a hero. <laughs> Little does she know that I'm the hero. Yeah, this is the girl that I was thinking of. Yeah, so she was on the other island. Yeah, okay, I must have remembered wrongly. So and that means a turn I forgot. <laughs> You get around, don't you? Give this to my beloved hero, won't you? And don't even think about keeping that for yourself. Well, I'm the I'm the hero, so I don't know how to tell you that because I I can't talk or anything like that. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna talk to the peeps here for kicks because why not? And see what they have to say. <clears throat> my husband left on a fishy trip and still hasn't returned. I hope he didn't bump into the ghost ship. Nah, he's just fine. He's just wayfaring, looking for mermaids and. uh Sorry, I had to tell you that, but, uh, yeah, you've been dumped. <laughs> <clears throat> I just asked Romanos if I could pull up all these stone table nuisances, and he got so upset. He said that all these are mementos of his father. What a sudden change of heart. He used to see his father was such a failure. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's see if there's anything that I can get here now. No? No bow upgrade. I was expecting that to be on one of these islands with a shop, but yeah, it, it, it pops up at random places. And that's the uh, other upgrade that I... Oh, oh, wait, maybe did I get that bow up? I don't think I got that bow upgrade. I already dug by that tree. By the way, there is now a mini game here, which is very difficult, so I'm going to save that for later. Uh, for now, though, I would like to go <clears throat> in here... Sorry for all the mucus today. <laughs> I'd like to go in here and get myself a little something. Remember that there was a treasure chest up over here? Well, I can get it from up there. <laughs> yeah, don't drop down. Got a power gem, yeah. And I already dug up these spots, so I know I can just loop around and... Oh, hello. Um, should that cutscene have happened again? I don't think that... Well, you know what? I'm just gonna... Because you always give me good prizes, so I'm just gonna do one of these dealios and... <laughs> Let's see what I get for defeating you, because why not? Probably just gonna give me a red rupee. Yeah, as usual. Alright. So. So, so. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in this cave. But I'm gonna take a peek -see around here, just in case. Hold on... Oh! Well, that's not exactly what I meant to do. I thought I had this out still. Um... Well... 
Well, um, there are those little islands over there, which I think I forgot something on. Uh, well, didn't forget something on, but I mean, I, did, I haven't gotten that just yet. But uh, anyway, back to the caves for now. And by caves, I mean this cave right here. <laughs> because remember, there's a separate route down through this away, which will take us through a rigmarole this away too. And, uh, oops. Wait, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> that works. Oh, and I got a heart that for that. Okay, so yeah, that ends at the dead end there, as I figured. Alright, I'm gonna go up through here, and I already got that when I fell down the hole here. Aha! As I suspected. Ha 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 Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, by the way, I should show you something weird. Watch this. If you connect these two together... Uh, well, first off, you can't really like stand on the treasure chest or anything like that, but you can open it on top of it, and you can actually see the cut-off rope up on top of the treasure chest when you do that. So I got the Courage Gem, and I showed you a little graphical weird uh, oddity there. <laughs> How do you like those apples? Two for one. And now for these little duders here. Um, um... Hold on, do I get it from the other side? I think that, yeah, I think I actually have to get it from the other side. Whoops, so I was on the right side. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait a second, hold on. I wasn't able to get to that barrel. No, wait, that must, uh, I don't know. I forgot how to get over there, but I need to get over there. Ah! Yeah, that's what I figured would happen if I were to grapple onto that. Ah, that makes sense. No wonder I forgot about that. That's really obscure. All right, let's do some cuckoo hopping here. I'm gonna plop you off here. And now get out my shovel, because this is what I came here for. It's a treasure map. Heck yeah, treasure map, treasure map. Yep, and it's another, it's another one in that little alcove over there. And yo. That didn't work at all. <laughs> uh, now I'm back to here. Now as for this mini game, this is a tricky one. We need our bow, but uh, this might take me a bunch of tries to get. <laughs> Do not shoot the little the the girls, but shoot everything else that you can get. Hey kid, what's pursuing your dreams? That's the first step. I've decided to follow in my dad's footsteps and go out the way of the adventurer. But it seems like my own first step is to make money for the trip. So on that note. This is the shooting range you can play if you have a bow and arrow. 20 rupees per game. I got loads of rupees. Uh, yes, I would. You'll have 70 seconds to hit the targets with unlimited arrows. Ghosts are 10 points. Hit them consecutively for up to 50 bonus points. But if you shoot a girl target, you'll lose 50 points, so be careful. Here we go then. Take your mark. We gotta get two, uh, 2,000 points, I think, for this. So get ready to shoot like you've never shot before. <laughs> oh, it's Mike think uncalibrated or something. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. It was just weird on that one layer there, but whatever, whatever. Go, go, go! Yeah, um, the girls don't appear until later on in the game, so you're free to shoot these early on and just tap, tap, tap. Yeah, this is not, uh, yeah, it's not aiming right, is it? <laughs> well, well, well. Go, go, go! Yo, go, go! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Yeah, well, actually, I don't know, maybe it just has to do with the angle of... I don't know, I, I just recall something being annoying about this game, and maybe this is it. It's the shooting issue. <laughs> oh, don't shoot the girl. Don't shoot the girl. Do not shoot the girl. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, um, see, the thing is that you, you can't actually miss, because then your streak will end. And, uh, yeah, then you don't get the bonus points for shooting the ghost consecutively. And that's kind of the issue here. So, as you can tell, I, I didn't even come close to the high score because of that, so it's gonna take me practice to get the hang of the weird shooting this all over again. So, yeah, one more time here. Yes. No, 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 no rules, no rules. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Gotta shoot like a master. Yeah, it seems like I gotta shoot, like, I mean, put my cursor, like, more towards the center in order to actually hit them. <laughs> or something like that, maybe? Might be? But yeah, um, I shouldn't have just been shooting randomly 
like I was the last time. I should just be tapping carefully. But I wanted to get the feel of the shooting in this game again, I guess. Alright, so now we're racking up those points. Yeah. Okay, but you gotta, gotta stay concentrated to keep that streak going. Okay, do not lose the streak ever, otherwise you'll probably not get the high score. Ooh, I don't like the moving targets. Oh jeez, girl target. <laughs> oh jeez, oh jeez, oh sh- oh my streak. Mmm, my streak. That's not good, that is not good, I lost all composure. Ah shoot, that's not good at all. And I need to get 2,000, oh and I just lost. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, if you lose a streak, it's pretty much over. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it again. We can do this. No, we've got this. Do not lose a streak. Do not lose the streak ever. Come on now. Boop. Relax. Shoot. Shoot with gusto. <laughs> And incredible concentration. Yeah, it seems like you want to put it more towards the inside of wherever the target is to actually shoot at the target. I don't know why that is. It even I mean, you should just be able to tap the said target and shoot at it, but yeah, it doesn't work that way, does it? <laughs> so I'm shooting like where that face is. Only uh, you, you know, like if it, if the target's on the left side of the face, I want to shoot more towards the right side of the target. It's weird. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Oh shoot, I got the... Oh no, that's not good. Mmm, yeah, this is a tough mini game. Oh shoot. Yeah, I gotta shoot where they're going, not where they are. <laughs> uh, poopers, scoopers, oh poopers, scoopers. Uh, maybe I'll just save this for another part because I'm already going on probably like 25 minutes in the parts recording. So, yeah, plus I'll probably have to practice this off-camera to really get the hang of this again. But if you manage to get over 2,000 points, you get a heart container, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. If it's, I mean, I, I don't think, uh, like, the, the, the over 1,700, I think, is for something else, but I'm pretty sure if you get over 2,000, it's a, a heart container. So, yeah, um, I'll save that for later. For now, I'm going to end off the part here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part, when I possibly, maybe, beat this game. Yeah, you're you're probably gonna have to practice this as well, so I'll give you time. I'll give you time. <laughs>